so when we go for these pathologies when we start an echo the first and foremost thing what we tend to see is the echo screen machine screen and this is how our echo machine screen looks like we do echoes the ultrasound of the heart with the probe the probe we use is phase array probe or sectoral probe the sectoral probe is something which gives us a window like this sector okay and in that we see that heart this is heart this is a apical four chamber view so what we say is the image the view what we are seeing should be an optimized view when we say it is optimized one when this heart is covering around 60% of the sector this is the whole sector by sector or phase array probe and this much area of the sector that is 60 to 70% of the area of the sector should be filled with the organ and the organ we are concentrating and we are talking about is heart the other thing we need to see is this probe orientation marker by convention in cardiology the probe orientation marker is always on the left side of the screen and by convention in radiology the probe orientation marker is always on the right side of the screen that we need to keep in mind so in echoes it will be on the left side of the uh, screen what we can do is we can at the max move it up and down we can move it all around but in cardiology we will always keep it on the left side of the screen and we will move it up and down okay so this is it remains here other thing we see is this when we do the color dopplers this one is the color velocity scale okay this gives us the range why it is important suppose if i am doing the dopplers color dopplers of some arterial system like aorta the velocity of the blood in aorta will be high so i have to keep the range as which sinks which suit with the velocity of the blood in the aorta i cannot keep it less if i keep the range less then the velocity actual velocity in the aorta in the vessel will overshoot that and it will look like me there is a turbulence and suppose if i am doing the dopplers of the pulmonary veins that is a venous system so that range i have to decrease i cannot keep this range high otherwise i will not be able to see the flow of the blood in the venous system so uh, th uh, that that is very important and we have to keep that in mind what you are seeing here is an ecg ideally all the echo studies have to be um done with the ecg on but normally for clinical purposes we don't do it but for research purposes ideally we should be doing this so these are the few basic things what we see on our echo screen this is a color window this is a probe orientation marker and this is your probe and the phase array probe or sectoral probe looks like this and this is what you are seeing is the probe marker so this probe marker it corresponds with the probe orientation marker on the screen so it remains static probe orientation marker that will be it will remain always on the left side the only thing that will move is probe marker okay and that's how we will uh, talk about that because that tells you the sidedness of the structures and so that's why where this probe marker will be facing the structures on that side will be seen on the side that is on this side where this probe orientation marker is suppose if i put a probe on my apex of the heart and this pro uh, probe marker is facing towards the left side so th this means that these chambers on this side of the probe orientation marker are la and lb so this is your left atrium this is your left ventricle this is your right atrium this is your right ventricle suppose if i rotate this probe from left side to the right side it remains here then these structures will be right atrium right ventricle left atrium left ventricle so the structures always synchronize with where the probe marker is facing so that is the importance of this probe orientation marker on the screen and 